This is not comfortable at all. Welcome back. You guys are a bit far, and uh, the lighting's a bit harsh, so let's switch this up. That's a little better. Well, I didn't really get rid of the harsh lighting, but it's like 28 degrees out right now, and I decided that I wanted to feel warm instead of have nice, smooth lighting on my face, so deal with it. As I mentioned before, I don't bring my camera out too often to film myself talking because it's a real hassle. It's, it's such a pain to bring like a tripod and a DSLR and a big mic and all the things that come with it. So in my desire to create and not be burdened with gear, I have kind of stumbled across a way to have the best of both worlds. And the best part about it is that Almost all of us have it in our pockets already. We're already carrying it around. So it's not like an extra piece of gear that we have to, you know, sling over our shoulder for the whole day and maybe use for 20 minutes of it. Apologies, friends. Some little kids showed up and got kind of noisy. So I went ahead and skied out about 300 miles. Continuing on though, if you are not sure what I was alluding to in that last clip, that would be your phone. Now, you guys all have this thing in your pockets all day long and it's just too good of a camera to not use it for catching b-roll or even talking to. My only gripe with it is that the mic quality sucks. Now I do have the iPhone 12, there are two more iPhones that have come out since then, maybe the sound is better, but more than likely it's not that great because it's still an iPhone and they gotta cram a little tiny mic in there. So that being said, I have come across this solution, so what I've done is I have taken my phone and I have mounted it to one of them ghetto tripod phone mount clip things. I took the wireless mic system by Rode, the first generation because that still works fantastically. No need to upgrade if your stuff works. Get that through your heads. If you guys are wondering what that sounds like, this is it. I'm testing the Rode mic. Even the front camera video quality is not that bad. And with the newer phones, you've got the artificial background blur. There's just no excuse not to be able to do this nowadays. Now, I'm sure some of you are like, hey, yo, Shelby, I can't afford a $200 wireless microphone. Don't worry, I got you covered. This is a lav mic by Rode. Taking a mic. We are now using the lav mic. And as you can tell, the audio from your phone sounds so much better. I have also realized that I have not given you guys a control test with just the phone's audio, so I should probably do that too. This is the control test with just the phone's regular audio. There is no mic attached, just straight, raw phone audio. So I went ahead and made this whole video thinking I'm this innovative creator with this divine knowledge to share with you guys. And then for Christmas, my wife gets this. It's a wireless lav mic made specifically for mobile phones. Like, I knew there was stuff out there, but I didn't realize I was trying to spread awareness for a problem that didn't exist. So yeah, as you can see, this thing is way tinier than what I had been previously showing you guys. And I guess I'm gonna go do a real world test for you as well, so here we go. So this is me using the lav mic that I have under my shirt right now. And as you can tell, the sound quality is fantastic. You can see by my hair how windy it actually is. The phone is just about to fall over on this jank little tripod I have. Ow! So this is a setup I got right now. I'm locked behind this tree here because it is so windy, this thing will definitely fall. But this is the setup. So I've got the phone with the uh, receiver plugged into the lightning port on this uh, crappy little tripod here. So uh, this is it. This is all you need for vlogging nowadays. And like, this is how compact it is. Isn't that crazy? 
So once again, this is the sound of the microphone, and this is the ambient noise that your phone picks up with just the in-camera mic. So back to the microphone. One thing to note, I have the mic about right here underneath my hoodie because I realize the gain on it is quite strong. So when you have it where you would traditionally put a lav mic, the volume is too strong. I'm gonna go ahead and walk out that way and give you guys a bit of a range test. Supposedly, this thing is good for about 50 feet, but uh, I guess we will see, won't we? All right, moving. So right now I am about, probably close to 50 feet, honestly. So if you can hear me, that's pretty darn good. Again, let me take the headphone adapter out. All right, we are now back to the phone's microphone and I'm gonna keep talking just so you can see. To be honest, I'm kind of pushing the capability of this thing. Like, I don't know how many of you would actually use it in situations like this. If you can hear me, then wow, impressive. All right, back to the studio. As you can see, friends, there are ways to get around bringing a bunch of crap. Don't underestimate your phone. It's very powerful. It's more than enough for things like this. Well, yeah, even this. You could set it up on a tripod and do a whole YouTube talking piece now that you've got great audio. and. I guarantee you nobody's gonna know what you shot it on. I'm I'm like 83 and a half percent sure. So just get out there, just start making, stop focusing on gear. As always, thanks for watching friends. And also as always, if you wanna like, comment, subscribe, that would be solid. I would really appreciate that. Lastly, I will have all of the stuff that I talked about today linked down in the description as well as some other alternatives that might be even cheaper, more cost effective for yo. I almost said y'all. I almost said y'all. I'm not going to say that. <sighs> All right, guys. See you later.